Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today, I'm going to teach you how to turn this into art. I'm going to show you how right now. So let me just say that this is a messy project. So you either want to cover your work surface, as I've done in garbage bags, or you want to make sure that you're working outside where it doesn't matter if you make a mess. For this project, you'll need an absorbent paper, such as watercolor paper, cardstock, newsprint. You'll need scissors, food coloring, bubble solution, either homemade or store-bought, water bottles, preferably eight ounce size, string bag like cuties, rubber bands, shallow bowls, an X-Acto knife, a work surface, stir sticks, and a cutting board. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our blower. So see how you have the mouth? That's very important. And then you keep the bell. And actually, you want to cut just a little bit below the bell, like by an inch and a half. And you just want to use your X-Acto knife and cut all the way around. Just be very, very careful with your fingers. And just cut all the way around so that you end up with a funnel. What you're going to do next is take your bottle and put it off to the side here while you cut your cutie bag. As you can see, I've been attacking my cutie bag. What you want is this kind of mesh string bag. You can get, I know cheeses come in this kind of string bag. The cuties come in this kind of string bag. But you can get a whole bunch of these from each bag, so it's great. Cut a big piece of it. I think I was able to get five or six out of my one cutie bag. And then lay it flat, lay that over top of it, your funnel, with the funnel side down, not the mouth side. Flip it over, and then just take some rubber bands and rubber band it into place. I like to use more rubber bands than not. There we go. So I'm using three rubber bands just to make sure it stays nice and in place. So now I don't need these anymore. The next thing I want to do is make my paint. So to make my paint, I'm going to be using bubble liquid. So I'm going to reach in here and remove this little bubble blower. And you can keep these bubble blowers too because the bubble blowers are effective. Bubble blowers are effective too, as paint brushes. I'm going to pour some bubble liquid into my bowl. And here you do not have to be shy about your coloring. I know a lot of times when I'm working with food coloring projects, I'm like, don't use too much color. But in this one, you actually want to give it a lot of color. And then use your little stir stick and just stir it up. Now, I like to make my colors ahead of time, and I like to have them all set and ready to go. I got this nice, pretty, like turquoisey blue, but I'm almost running out of it, so I'm going to put that in there. So I get all my colors ready to go, and then I put my paper down. I just need one piece of paper, and I like to use a blower for each color. That way I'm not mixing my colors. So I have a blower for red, a blower for the blue, a blower for the yellow, and we'll, because this is bigger, a blower for that blue. Okay, and I'll have to share with my green so now what I'm going to do is just take my paint, pull my blower out, just shake it so that it's not drippy, drippy, dripping. And then I just start to blow bubbles. And all I do is I blow with my mouth in the cap. And sometimes it'll pop up ahead. Um, in the air, which is fine. Because 
you get these really cool splatters. Then you can try a different color. It's kind of fun to watch the colors mix together. And if you want to, you can use the bubble wand. You just have a little less control with the bubble wand. Let's put some yellow on here. This is super fun to do if you've got a whole bunch of people and get everybody gets their own color and have like a big canvas, like a sheet lying down and just let people go to town blow in lots and lots of bubbles. And you can experiment with it, you know, blowing bubbles right onto it blowing it up ahead, like way up high. And then just kind of draping them all over and letting the bubbles pop. It's just super, super fun to play with. And that's how you turn a bubble into a work of art. Now, the greatest thing about this project is it's great for kids of all ages and adults too. So you can all get together and make really great fun art all together as a family. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like this one, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you share us with your friends because there's nothing like bubbles to make great art.